Stretch, stretch, stretch. Let's go. What's up, guys? My guys here, back with another video. Pops is cooking breakfast back there. Mom's chilling, drinking her coffee, waking up. <laughs> Sorry, come on, Chief. Thank you, bud. Yeah, today's a busy day ish. But yeah, today I gotta go ship out some birds, and then I gotta go just run some errands and uh, get just get some shit done before I gotta go to California. I go to California tomorrow for just some uh, videography, photography gig. But I'm gonna vlog it, yeah, because I don't need to be filming the whole time. That's the thing about photography, videography. You don't need an hour video to tell a story. You just gotta tell it, man. You gotta try your best. Let's get our day started, yeah, chief. Eating the fish, getting some water, getting some, getting some water, getting some food. Yeah, I usually get him situated first because honestly my dog Chief isn't trained like he's like semi-trained He's about a year old now fell into like a depression and I just didn't really spend that much time with him Cause you know being depressed how can you how can you be motivated to like you know be around anybody let alone yourself Yeah now I'm spending the time that I have to with him and um, yeah it's just it's a great feeling to be out on the other side guys You guys are feeling depressed feeling low man just reach out to somebody talk to your friends man Talk to your family, even though they don't want to hear it sometimes. You know, maybe go talk to a stranger. Just, just don't be afraid to get help, man. It's okay, man. We are all going through the same shit, just at different times, bruh. Just respect people, man. Just, just be kind, and, and trust me, it'll it'll come full circle, man. But good, good morning. Hope everyone's doing okay. Billy! What up, Billy? I've got a little project going on. It's gonna be like a little two by by two and a half pen. I got the doors up here. I tried my best and I did an all right. Y'all can see the back. It's like, I don't know how to do the sides because I'm pretty limited on material right now. This is all recycled material. It's all wood that was laying around. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to split these and kind of do what I did back there. But I'm thinking about doing the sides a little bigger. I tried my best to get it out. But yeah, going to the military, like, I, always, I went to, like, six different high schools. I never had the opportunity to, like, really take a class serious. Like, I did engineering in one school, and then I moved schools. They didn't have engineering, so then I took uh, learning how to do stocks a little bit. And I had to move again. So, and why, why I bring up engineering is because, like, uh, I use, like, graphing paper and SketchUp, or I need to get graphing paper. SketchUp, you know, ideas before I make them. Just that way, we're not wasting materials and shit like that. You're just kind of being efficient. It helps, really, just sketching it out. But yeah, I'll show you all, like, my little sketchbook. Um, I'm trying to get some graphing paper. It's just better to, like, um, sketch prototypes on graphing paper um, that's what I, I learned in school one of my teachers and he was the coolest teacher man we're just uh finishing up this coop i don't know I, I really like my stuff to look a certain way man i just have to have my shit a certain way man we only have one life so it's just me being human and really wanting what i want so that's why i'm taking my time and building this bit. sheesh people were trying to be on your side, side dog. Dog. just, just do, do your, your thing, thing stay focused <laughs> Here's my little sketch of my coop. You see it? Nothing crazy. Oh, this is the other materials that I was using. And then this is my automatic feeder I, was, I sketched up. Taking a break with this uh, coop that I'm building. I gotta get some cage wire and maybe some wood. I don't know. Still thinking about that. Also, I gotta ship out these birds. <laughs> Naked neck. Very handsome guy. And then I'm just gonna double check and make sure he's good to go. Uh, now it's time to get the paperwork for these bad boys and uh, get out of here. <laughs> Alright y'all, just got back from the store, probably bought shit that I shouldn't have, got some handles to make it look fancy, got this shit to make it shut good, and then some locks. Also got a little piece of wood for a divider, some soil in it for our plants, cause it's about that time. But yeah, just about to finish this coop up, and I'll show you guys what it looks like. And yeah, I'm liking how it's coming out together, man. It's a lot of it's all recycled material, um, shit that we had laying around. I actually used it, like I cut that shit to make it shorter because the birds weren't going on top of it, and like it actually benefited the birds and me, cause I got some wood to use, and now they could go on the roost, so it's a win-win for us all right y'all got the cage finally done the coop and it's looking good man Sheesh. can't believe i did it all by myself man Wow, just gotta pay attention when your dad's working, when your when your uncles are working, and it'll pay off, man. It's just, you gotta be open to, to learn. Man, it's a different feeling, man. When you do it yourself, I'll tell you that. A little bit of pine shavings, I'm gonna get some hay, because I didn't get no pine shavings today. But yeah, what I'm doing is just relocating the hands so that the chicks can be in the little coop. 
All right, y'all. So my brother's helping me transfer some of my chicks over to that new coop that we built. But they're only a couple of days old, man. Thanks, bro. I ain't gonna lie, I got a little sloppy with the locks, okay? But hey, it works. It works pretty good. It actually doesn't even need these locks because if you pull it, it has this like locking mechanism right here uh, that just like flips like right there. So I can see it. So it adds that a little extra support. But yeah, guys, for the most part, I just plan on using this for my chick um, and my hands just to, you know, do their thing, hatch them, or just transfer them down when they get to a certain age. And that's like the goal. We'll see because, you know, everything just changes here at the ranch. You know what I'm saying? One day it's this, the next day is that. And I made a little feeder. Look at that. A little lid, a little stopper. And there you go. There's the food. A little simple design, but just something that'll work for now at least. And I'm just going to put it inside for them. Like that. Man, I can't believe I made this crew on my own. Gotta be gentle, gotta be careful. Is this the hen for you? She's situated, sitting on some eggs. I don't wanna bother too much with the light. And then that's the automatic feeder. Yee it works. But yeah, since the hens are sitting, I put the automatic feeders there so that way they always have food. I don't have to worry about them, stress about it. Yeah, that's pretty much it. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, follow my social media down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. And remember to stay safe. Keep it's like I